So the method I've used here is only one method on how you can create a numeric array, but there's also another method that you can use. So what I'm gonna do is in a comment up here, I'm gonna say first method to create numeric arrays. I'm gonna just copy this here. Down here, I'm gonna do second method just to help you reference this if you need to later on. All right, so the way to implement the second method for creating numeric arrays is first we need to create an array, create a name for it, and I'm gonna name it array num, which is gonna store different numbers. And here's how we actually implement this. So I'm gonna say I wanna store the number 76, I wanna store the number 50, I wanna store the number 45, 30, 23 and let's say let's put a big number like 3938 all right so going back over what's going on here of course we have the name of the array then we have this special function that we have to use and inside of it we have a double quote then the number then we have another double quote to end or to state that that's the number we want to use then we separate the next number by a comma and we repeat the same method until we're done. And we end it with a parentheses and then a semicolon. So the next question that you should have is, okay, so which index or which spot is associated with each number? What I mean is up here, we saw that we had index zero went with Robert, index one with, with the phpbasics.com. But from here, I don't see exactly which index goes with each number. So how can I use it in an echo if I wanted to output it like I did here? Well, with this method, it automatically assigns indexes. And the reason I use 0, 1, 2, 3 here is because it'll make it easier for you to understand what's going on here. For 76, it has the index 0. For 50, it has the index 1 then two, three, four, and five. It always starts at zero and counts up. So it's automatically doing this for you. So if I wanted to echo out the number 50 from this array, I would simply say echo the number, let's just say the number, and we're gonna say array num. And since we want 50, that's at index one. Again, it starts at zero, then one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So it's index one and I'm going to end this statement and I'm also going to put another line break. Let's put it in the same echo string here and I'm gonna hit save, refresh my browser and as you can see it says the number 50. So as you can see here we have two ways for creating numeric arrays. I personally prefer this first method where I feel as if I have more control and I understand exactly where each string and each number is, I can change these numbers. If I wish here, I cannot, it's automatically assigning indexes to each one of these numbers. So it's really, again, up to you which method you wanna use and how you wanna create your indexes or your spots, whichever makes it easier for you to understand. So that does conclude this tutorial. So hopefully now you have a better understanding on how to use and create PHP numeric arrays. And in future tutorials, I'll be showing you other ways that numeric arrays can be really beneficial. So definitely take the quiz online at the phpbasics.com to make sure you understand some of these basic fundamentals about numeric arrays. And I will see you in the next video.